Every six months, Ubuntu's developers treat us to a brand new release, and this is the latest Ubuntu 2304 Lunar Lobster. In this video, I showcase the biggest changes in Ubuntu 2304. So whether you're a long-term fan looking to upgrade or a distro hopper debating a switch, let's check out the changes. Ubuntu 2304 comes with a brand new installer built using Flutter and Dart and utilizing Ubuntu's modern server installer technologies. Aside from just working better, the new installer maintains all of the features of the old one and is just as easy to use. In particular, the partition manager, often glitchy in ubiquity, is notably improved. In all, a job well done, this ACE new installer makes an ACE first impression, and it's topped off by an illustrious and informative new installer slideshow. With this release, there's an official mini ISO image. This clocks in at just 150 megabytes and lets you install Ubuntu entirely over the web using the magic of the internet. As a known base Linux distro, you won't be shocked to hear that the bulk of user-facing changes in Ubuntu 2304 come courtesy of GNOME developers and the recent GNOME 44 release. The quick settings menu sports some slick refinements. Toggles now use subtitles to display more information at a glance, such as the name of the Wi-Fi network you're connected to or which power mode is active. Connecting to your Bluetooth devices is much easier in this release, as the Bluetooth toggle now has a sub-menu. From here, you can see a list of previously paired devices alongside options to instantly connect or disconnect to them. Better yet, the name of a connected device is shown in the Bluetooth toggle subtitle. Two smaller changes that make a big difference in this release. One, the speaker icon in the volume bar, you can now click that to instantly mute sound. And two, all of the quick settings actions are now keyboard navigable, resulting in a big buff for accessibility. Nice one. The settings app isn't the first place most people go to when they're looking for new features, but there are some additions here worth knowing about. You can now add and configure WireGuard VPN connections in the network panel. You can share Wi-Fi passwords with other users as QR codes. And the mouse and touchpad section has had a massive makeover, gaining new options such as a toggle for disabling mouse acceleration, and there are new instructive animations to help you pick a preferred scrolling behavior. Finally, an Easter egg for Ubuntu users who also install the Tiling Assistant GNOME extension from the Ubuntu repos. When this is present, it unlocks an advanced tiling section in the Ubuntu desktop settings panel. A sneak peek at improvements planned for the upcoming Ubuntu 23.10 release in October. The Ubuntu dock now shows badge counts for more applications, with the dock showing a count for any unread desktop notifications generated by an app. These are in addition to any count provided by the app using the libunity api the nautilus file manager has learned a few new tricks you can once again turn on the expandable folder option to fly through folders in list view tree menu style the medium icon view size is back there are some new tab menu options and you can finally copy images from the web or other applications and paste them as a new image file in the file manager i like that change that, that's like great for like pillaging memes. Ever been annoyed by the lack of thumbnail icon view in the GTK app picker? I know I have. Well, no more. GNOME developers have finally added a thumbnail mode. When the file picker is opened, you can click on the view button to switch from list view with its itty bitty teeny tiny icons to the new thumbnail mode with larger file previews. I know, pretending that this is a big OS highlight in 2023 is a little bit of a stretch, but still it's better late than never. As you'd expect, you get the latest version of Mozilla Firefox as a Snap app, which I'm pleased to say does start up faster than in previous versions. There's also an elegant new version of Thunderbird with email needs and LibreOffice 7.5 with improved support for dark mode, better PDF export options and more. If you use Flatpak apps on Ubuntu, and if you're not, you're missing out, you'll start to notice a new background app section in the quick settings menu. This appears whenever a Flatpak app is running without a visible window, giving you the option to uh, know that it's running or quit it or open the application settings so you can stop it from running in the background in future. 
So that was a look at the Lunar Lobster, a kooky code name, but a pretty sedate release overall focused on refinement and enhancement and improvement rather than change for change's sake. If you're on Ubuntu 22.10, then upgrading to 23.04 is a bit of a no-brainer. You get GNOME 44, you get Linux kernel 6.2 and updated graphics drivers, plus a refreshed set of software. But if you're an LTS user, is there much here likely to tempt you into upgrading? Probably not. You can leave this lobster down the sea. Down the sea, that's not even a thing. Okay, hey, so let me know which Ubuntu 2304 features you love down in the comments. And don't forget to stop by the blog to say hi and catch up with all the latest Ubuntu developments. Finally, a massive shout out to the 143 people who have to date bought me a coffee. Your small gesture has a massive impact as it allows me to keep on doing what I love doing, which is all of this. But for now, that's it. So I'll see you on the next one.